Well, I'm now at the Reynolds Parish Council stage of walking the routes with Simon Blanchflower. He's just a few yards ahead, walking up to look at the potential impact of this route alignment on ancient woodland. We started off early this morning in um, Clapham, had a good conversation covering the ground from Clapham to Brickhill, um, and then been able to spend time in Ravenston looking at a piece of land where over a two kilometer stretch of North Bedfordshire, only a hundred meters is the rail line on the land as it is now, and then to Wilden to look at some of the impact on individual residents' homes. So uh, today's going to plan, I, I think it's absolutely vital uh, that the Chief Executive of East West Rail is here in North East Bedfordshire, so we can listen directly to your parish council representatives and to individuals affected. Um, so far, uh, I think he's getting strong messages, but useful information. So uh, we're at the end of uh, the visit today with the chief executive of East West Rail. He's catching the train from Sandy back to uh, London. We've had the chance to walk the routes and meet nine parish councils affected by uh, the proposed railway between Oxford and Cambridge. Uh, so, Mr. Marshall, what observations did you have from today? Has it been useful for you? So, first of all, I'd like to thank Richard He's, uh, for hosting this visit. It's been really important for us to get out and meet parish councillors, local representatives uh, across the route uh, here between uh, Sandy and Bedford today, visiting local communities, understanding uh, some of the concerns that they've raised in their responses uh, to the recent consultation. So it's really brought to life and added colour uh, to the written responses that we've had. So for me, it's been really helpful. Uh, now we're able to get down after lockdown and uh, meet people, engage with them, and to reconnect with the communities along this section of the route. And the, ne the next stage is um, that I'm going to be spending time with East West Rail at their offices, uh, the, department, the office of the Department of Transport, to go through some of the cost assumptions about the various routes, going back to the original consultation, uh, so that I can get my head around the numbers and we can get some detail on, on some of the cost assumptions that we put in place in that consultation, uh, which I think will be helpful as a further step in letting people understand what is the really at the bottom of these route decisions.